Yo, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today, I was thinking about it the other day that I was sick for a bit. I was sick like for a week. And recently, it's Lent, so I'm losing weight. I lost like eight kilos. I was like 88 kilos. Now I'm like 80. So I go into the gym that I usually go to. And now, like when I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I'm like, damn, I'm skinny. Like I look better. Like I look more like lean. Like you can see, like I have more muscle definition. But, like, I feel skinny. I feel small. And then here's the crazy part is that I hadn't been for a while. But, you know, like, after a while, we get used to, like, the same faces. And you kind of know, like, oh, okay, these people go, like, pretty regularly. These people don't. The crazy part is, so you'll see some of the beginners. Like, you'll see some people that are fat or very skinny. And it's been months. So, like, when I came, I was, like, just okay. I was a decent size. And then I blew up. Like, I ate a lot. And then I just, like, I bulked up hard. And I, I became like, not huge, but I was like, for my, like before, compared to like comparatively, I was like huge compared to how I used to be. And then now I come back and now I'm like getting like skinny and stuff. Now I'm looking and I recognize some of the like same faces I've seen, some of the same beginners. I'm like, damn, bro, they look exactly the same. It's fucked. And what I'm trying to say is like, evaluate yourself. Are you making any progress? Are you really just like, you know, it's easy to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to the gym, yada, yada. Brother, that's not enough. The point of the gym isn't to go to the gym, but the point of the gym is to make progress. And I'm starting to think about it in other aspects of my life. So, for example, although, sure, like, comparatively, if I'm looking, I can see that, okay, I'm making more progress than these other people. These people are wasting their time. But in other aspects of my life, I'm, I'm that person. I'm that person that's just wasting their time. I'm thinking about it, like, more spiritually. I'm like, damn, like, how am I, am I getting closer to Christ? Am I, is my knowledge of Christianity, is my knowledge of like, you know, God, my theology, is it deepening? Is it getting better? Is my productivity like, you know, when you start analyzing this, this kind of stuff, you're like, damn, like, okay, sure, maybe in the gym I'm going well, but this other shit is like, it's not going well. It's like, well, it's not going as well as I wanted to. It's going a lot slower. And obviously it's hard to prioritize everything at the same time. Actually, no, I'd say it's genuinely impossible, especially if you want uh, friendships and relationships. But I want you guys to evaluate yourself right now. Think about it. What are you progressing in? What are you not progressing in? Are you, let's say you're going to the gym. Let's say you're fat right now. Are you losing weight? And if not, then why aren't you losing weight? And I'll tell you why. If you're not losing weight, there's only one reason why you're not losing weight is because you're eating too much. So just eat less. I'm not even lying. It'd be easier to just eat less or to even fast. Like you could fast for a while. Like you're, you're big, like you got enough energy to like live. You're not going to die. So like if you're, yeah, if you're, if you're fat, like realize that there is one direct reason and it, it would be easier to just eat less than to actually just like exercise. Like you don't need to run a whole marathon to lose like that extra, like 30 kilos. Just, just eat less just do great lent or something like that do ramadan even like if that's what you need like but likewise i was thinking about it like okay some people like some people will say like oh wow i'm very religious because i go to church every sunday almost every sunday like there's almost never like a sunday that i don't like go and sure like and what you have to understand is that don't don't let people that are like less than you uh gas you up exalt you and what i mean by that is like Let's say you had some, you had some skinny, like you have, let's say you're like a gym bro and you have some skinny guy like, whoa, you go to the gym like, like five times a, a week. That's insane. Like, oh, you might like, it's like, sure. But brother, like if you really, if you're analyzing it from your own perspective, you're like, yeah, I might be going five times a week, but bro, like I'm barely training and like, I'm actually like, I don't know. I'm not going hard enough. So don't let other people that are less than you make you think that you're greater than what you actually are in the same way that I've had people that aren't religious and then they hear i'm religious like they don't believe in it but they're like whoa you're, oh, you're so like yada yada you go in church every sunday i'm like yeah I'm like brother that's not enough I'm like that's not enough like let's say i'm going to church but like how hard am i actually really praying how much of that is it am i just thinking about random thoughts about like oh this girl or that thing or this thing or this assignment or like oh what should i do next week or what am i going to eat like you know how much of it is spent thinking of that and how much of that is spent praying that's the real thing. And it, again, once you notice this and you can quantify like, okay, well, I'm thinking about it. Like, I'm, you know, I'm not praying like 50% of the time. The other 50 is like, I am praying. 
then let's push it to 55, to 60, to 70. You know what I mean? Just keep increasing it. You just quantify these things. See how hard you're actually going at things and, you know, think about it. Even then, like, I've made, like, a lot of progress in the gym in a very short amount of time. But I'm still thinking about, I'm like, damn, like, I'm still a bitch. Like, for example, I'm not progressing as, as hard as I could in, let's say, like, the incline dumbbell bench press. So I'll do incline dumbbell bench press. And what I noticed is that yesterday I went to the gym with just some mates. We were just, like, for fun, like, not really, like, super serious. We did incline bench. Most I'll, like, the most I've done so far is 25. And I went very slowly. Like, I started at, what, like, 15, and now I'm only at 25. I only increased 10 kilos in the dumbbells in, what, like, five months, six months or something. And then today, or I mean, yesterday, I did, I'm like, you know, I'm going to do 27.5. And I realized, oh, what, I, it was hard, but, like, I could do it for, like, 10. So let me try 30. And I could do that for, like, 8 or 10. Like, I, I didn't really count at that point. But I realized, like, damn, like, I have way more strength than I actually realize. I have way more strength that I'm not actually utilizing pr properly. So, again, in every aspect of your life, there is something that you could be going hard at, but you're really not. So that's what you need to analyze. Once you analyze that, and especially once you quantify it, you're like, okay, in this aspect, I can increase it this much and that. Then, then after that, then you can actually start making progress in your life and you're going to feel like everything's like so stagnant. And it's hard. Like you'll have periods of like stagnation. Like I'm somewhat in a stagnate, like stagnant period, but um, I think it's starting to accumulate. It's starting to like really like drive me crazy that I'm like being stagnant. So I'm like kind of getting out of that right now. If you want to help me out, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.